Good noon, everybody. This is the Super Genius 55. I've been away for a while. You know, uh, sickness, job training, uh, some extra schoolwork I had to do, plus some test studying. Let's say, test studying. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's not like I'm not, I'm not actually laughing. This is Ghost Motel, an, an online series of flash point and click games that I did uh, quite a while ago, but uh, I'm redoing it now because. I didn't finish either two times in the past, so... Um... The series is actually incomplete. Part 12 is still in production. I'm not sure if it'll ever get completed. If it ever does, I'll update the episode with episode 12. I mean, this LP with episode 12, I'll update it. Welcome to the ghost motel. I've never it's about a ghost in a motel. Well, name? kind of. And you actually have three options here. Um, <laughs> the first two are kind of pointless to have there. I mean, I know it's a point-and-click game, but it's not, yeah. And this actually is a, a correct answer here. Like, if you choose the third one, the word correct will flash for, like, a split second. Watch. See? It flashed there. My name is Joseph Winter. I died recently. I can't listen to the audio at the same time. I'm doing post-commentary, by the way. <laughs> Um, I, my, my recording setup's a bit weird right now, and I can't do, I wasn't able to do commentary at the same time I recorded this, so I'm, yeah, post-commentary. Sorry if that's, you know, if you don't like that as much. Thanks, uh. goodbye. So, but, uh, this episode's not very eventful. First episode. Yeah, how have you been doing, viewer? I expect you to tell me an answer to that. that something happened there? I'm sorry. Maybe I'm moving around a bit too much while I, L, while I uh, LP. You actually have uh, the option to look at that picture, which is kind of... I mean, I find that a bit weird. Walking through the hall, well, floating through the halls and not walking. Or, Joseph is not walking. Yeah, um. I always. For some reason, I remembered him having a, a brown hat instead of a uh, black one. Also, where'd he get the hat? And also, how can he have suitcases if he just died? What possessions does he have? Um. But yeah, this is. If he just died recently. If you, go, if you go back in your room, he'll just come back out in like a second. And reinvestigate the sobbing noise. And to our dismay, we have this. <laughs> uh, I found this slightly creepy when I was actually when I was doing it. Like I, I pl first played this when I was like eight or something, and I found this a little bit creepy at the time. Um, and he has he said he said a uh, uh, profanity, so he must be. I guess that's how they distinguish the evil ones. <laughs> also, I have no idea what he's doing. He's like, I guess. I mean, I. I know they're trying to make it look like he's eating, but, you know, eating the human. Stop it. Leave that human alone. Also, there's like a. Is that. Hu Why does that human have like that wood thing on top? I guess it's supposed to be hair, but. It look It doesn't look like human that he's eating. It look, like, if you notice, there's like that bit of wood on top of it. It, it looks like there's a bit of uh, wood on top of it at the end of it. And here, it just looks like he's, you know. Uh sucking in the air or something. It doesn't look like he's eating. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty old series. Um, I think, like, the early to, like, 2002 or something. Who are you? For some reason, he was willing to kill us before, but now he's killing us when we're already dead. They explain this later, but... what he was doing later, but, um... For some reason, he's not willing to kill us now, and if you've... If... If you haven't noticed, that's just backwards. He's just saying stuff backwards. Um... He isn't willing to... That's a lamp on a table, of course. Um, I'm mousing. When I was doing this, I was just, this. It's I was mousing over all the stuff. You can't see the cursor, but um, again, that human. That human didn't have pants on earlier. I'm sorry. That, that that human didn't have pants on last time, like when he was eating. But now it has pants, and it's. But it still has the top of it. It looks like you know wood. The art again. This this episode was a bit old, so it's not exactly. Now we're gonna get some more expeditions. So. Help! Help! I just saw a monster in another room. Huh. 
I think you just saw your first demon. Hey, wait a second. He told you in the last episode that there are more than go. There weren't just ghosts. And it is inhabited so, by plot hole. Not technically, but that once had because he only said that he thought. And born in flesh. The spirit is a being that has never lived a physical life. They were born of spirit and will always be a spirit. There are good spirits and bad spirits. The good ones Something that annoys me, actually. Those supposedly good ones. And are referred they're, to as demons. they're referred to a few times, but we never see them. We only see the demons. The only spirits we see are the demons. The only spir spiritual beings are demons and ghosts, but the only non... We only see ghosts and demons. We don't see the good spirits. That's a weird thing. Are you going to town? Why would I go to town for? To get a job, of course. Why do I need a job for? Do you want to be stuck in this place forever? Look, As you can tell, the audio quality. The audio quality, the quality of like the art and the audio gets better along as the series progresses. In purgatory, you have to earn your way to heaven with a job. You don't get paid or anything. Okay. If you commit crimes, do you end up in hell? This actually isn't referred to again either, but the whole getting to heaven thing, but. That isn't referred well, to again either, but I don't know if it has to be. Right I'm scratching on, my head, so sorry if it like go. made some weird noise. I haven't I haven't LP'd in a while, in a week or actually I haven't recorded my voice for anything. I mean I've done like uh what you call it Just uploading cutscenes, but I haven't actually done a true LP in a little while. Where can I take you? Take us downtown, please. Oh. Then again, maybe post commentary in the minds of some don't count as a true LP. I don't know. I can't believe I'm dead. And I don't no. know. Audino. 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 What? Audino. Maybe it'll be. Well, you can do stuff other than a job. Just put that out there, Tabitha. We can communicate telepathically. We are ghosts after all. Oh, okay. Ooh, maybe in the past life, uh, she was the leader. She was uh, that person from Team Magma in Pokemon uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. That admin. Who was a boy, but he was male, but... Who knows, maybe he had a sex change. And apparently he wasn't good enough to go to heaven because part of Team Magma. Because he, because he was an anti-villain, he could still... He, he wasn't sent to hell. I don't know, was he anti-villain? I know Ar I know Maxi and Archie in, in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald were anti-villains, but... Kinda. Her work is never really referred to again. I always love to think that she was... Well, you're gonna see in a second what happens, so... Um, you're gonna see in a second. I need a job. Well, what kind of job? There's um, so some more exposition on that bulletin board. Let's look. Let us look. Lettuce, look. Lettuce alone. Garden Angel, Garden Angels. Eh, go back. Garden Angels are jobs to protect individuals from unnecessary harm. You will pick up your assignments from the mail. Only do what you're assigned to do. Do not go protecting those who are not part of your assignment. And do not go on protecting an individual beyond the which you are assigned to do. There's a resident haunt, I guess. These people are supposed to just scare humans away from, like, areas infested by demons. Um, you might need to manipulate objects in the physical realm to do this. A local worker, just a cannon fodder. Well, not cannon fodder, but just somebody who works in a non... Someone who doesn't deal with demons, you know. Uh, miracle Worker. It, his job is to grant miracles to those who need it, and only it, permission from the big boss will allow you to grant miracles. This is never referred to again either, and you need experience as a guardian angel, resident haunt, and local worker, apparently. So, all those three things you need. And the Demon Hunter here is you need experience as a guardian angel and a resident haunt. This, you hunt demons. Uh, either from the physical or spiritual realm. Oh boy. I always theorized that Tabitha was a miracle worker. You know, those, that seems like the most advanced one because you need experience as a resident haunt, um, guardian, guardian angel, and a local worker. And it seems to be the and you need be permission from the big boss. What kind of 
so. None. I'm mailing to him. Um, I always thought it was kind of... Her line of work is never explicitly said, so... And that was just my theory. <laughs> You know, those, the first two, okay. those, the Resident Haunt does seem a bit dangerous since, since he would be going near demons. As well as perhaps Guardian Angel. If, if, if there's being defended from demons, wouldn't the Demon Hunter do both of those tasks? That seems, I know, that seemed a bit weird to me, but I guess he's able to haunt it without being hurt. A uh, mother and her daughter moved into Delnoy apartment complex, Horn 61. There, the, the apartment staying in us has a bad vibes, too much evil has happened, and they, a lot of are hanging out there, and help haunt and scare the nice family away so that they won't get any trouble from the, uh, demons. Then go to the Realm Travels building, located next door to the unemployment office, and from there, take the portal to Delnoy apartment, apartment 61. Is it Delanoi? That's a bit of a weird... I don't know. Probably exists in real life. Uh, TSG. Not that you'd know. <laughs> talking to myself in third person. No, a second person, because I'm talking to myself. Like, literally addressing myself as if it were another person. But yeah, this place. Exactly what it would do. Exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, realm traveling. Okay, you're all set. Just walk into the corner on the right. Ooh, flashing. And I guess because they need to emphasize this is a point-and-click game, they are going to give you... <laughs> they give you the option to just continue, even though there's literally no other option. There's no other... So they don't really give you any way to control what happens here. Stop playing with that Ouija board. I don't see why they just foregone speech bubbles, but suddenly, but okay. Maybe you should be doing something, don't Josephine. Jo Josephine, as I call him. Whoa! What do you do to Joseph? Whoa, I'd hate to be her mother there, just seeing her all possessed like that. I would be so freaked out. Back in the spiritual realm. They don't tell us how we got back, but okay. The Sweet Cafe. Such an original name. Maybe that's why they should assign the job to a demon hunter. Because he can't... You know, the demons can do some bad stuff, too. Those demons didn't do any bad... Didn't do anything other than... Pushed Joseph away. I noticed they could have just, you know, done other bad stuff to him. But... What's wrong, Joseph? You look a little weak. Well, the voice acting is not the best. So that's why I'm a little blue. Oh, don't worry about it. There will be other. It's more than a little blue. He was crying. That's more than a little blue. Forget about work for now, and let's go have some fun. Okay, sounds like a good idea. So here's where we really start getting into the interactivity. Well, not here, in a second. I have to get to me first, but I'll meet you at the start. Just take the bus, and I'll get you. Alright. Despite what she said, you're actually not supposed to go to the circus first. You're supposed to go to some of the other places first look around. Also, take note of that umbrella beside the bench. The color of that umbrella beside the bench. You need to remember that. Remember that umbrella. Trust me, it'll help you. And you cannot come back to the cafe, so... <laughs> Which is kind of... Again, you're not supposed to go to the circus first. They never tell you that until you actually get to the circus, where you find out you need to, like, find some clues, but yeah. Where'd I go? The museum. Yeah, that's where I went. And 
takes for some reason for some reason it doesn't go faster. To the left is nothing. It was kind of hard time, you know, clicking. <laughs> for some reason it didn't co it, the it didn't cooperate in short. In short, I the thing. I was mousing over those paintings. Um, those paintings or those, you know, photographs or whatever. If you move right, uh, all that happens is this. Remember the picture as well. Uh, those eggs on the portrait. He, I guess, I guess it's just a wallpaper. Oh. Whoa, the museum just disappeared behind him, I've noticed. It just became, you know, a blue background. Anyway, we have a fun, happy, you know, happy-go-lucky kind of park here. And let's go and... Yeah. Whoa. This is not a happy little park. The ominous music. Even though it looks like he's having the time of his life there. Um, oh, remember the key. Remember that. A key and a keychain. Remember that. Um, what a happy little place that's not... Yeah. Let's even click on the tail there. Oh my god, no! It's a demon, and he killed Josephine. Joseph. I'm calling him Josephine. Again, again! <laughs> kind of... All we see is the demon just jumping in front of him. You know. Maybe that's why he shouldn't... He should have been, you know... He maybe he should have gotten a demon hunter to take care of that, but, you know. Also, demon didn't jump out at us when we were like on the swing swing. It was only when we got near the tree. I don't know what he was doing. I guess he was pulling the tail or something. The demon's tail. I remember many, many moons ago. And by moons, I mean years, not months. I think somebody decided to rate the violence in this episode like a seven out of ten because of that. <laughs> you don't even see anything. I don't know if that review is still there, but okay. So they, had, they had various like ratings, and violence was one of the ratings. They, somebody decided to just give it a ten out of seven out of ten just because of that scene. And maybe I should be talking about how we're at the circus. Um, Hi, Tabitha. Hi, And he says he had to look around in a second. Sorry, I had to check out a few things. Yeah, so you were supposed to go in other places first. No, I don't. Maybe you should have taken care of that, Tabitha. And now you, and now she's making us feel bad because she didn't get tickets. <laughs> you can look at the thing, and that's a bit of a weird top of the circus, but okay. Yeah, this this clown has a really deep voice. So for all the people who are creeped out by clowns, I guess, I guess. The creator decided to to be nice and confirm your fear. Yes, I know who you are. I'm one of your biggest fans. Then tell me, what is my oh, remember the painting with him in it? Yeah, it had the omelet in it. I don't know if there's an egg option somewhere, but and so try to click on my past self. Come on, just click on the thing. Ugh. Click on the omelet thing. Well, we know what that is by the rock. There was that key on a keychain. And here's the weird part. He says that umbrella thing. I was so stumped the first time I did this, looking all over, because you can't go back to the cafe, but the umbrella there, that that was that was mean, putting the answer uh, where we can go. Actually, you'd have to restart the episode to find it. That was frustrating for me as a kid. Uh, the free guest pass. Okay, cool. Where will we find the other one? We gotta... Oh, no, wait, wait. He has another one. Coincidentally, he doesn't have three or anything. Or, you know, he just happens to have that extra one. Just the extra one for Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha. I got So we can go inside the circus now. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Happy-go-lucky circus thingy. 
<laughs> those those shopkeepers, the, those identical shopkeepers, all look really nervous. And again, Joseph always looks kind of nervous as well. Um, there's an outtake. By the way, this episode had a little outtakes episode that I'll link it in the description of the video. Um. Yeah, you can go ahead and watch the circus. You can also zoom out and look at the, the uh, people around you. And you can just zoom in on some. Whoa, I think I turned up the brightness there. My computer. When I was uh, recording this. Um, and for some reason, it takes you back to the scene there. Up. Oh, and here's what happens. Wow, nobody noticed, uh... Wow, so someone just came in, and, uh... Well, I, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Oh, I turned the brightness back down. Yeah, nobody noticed that. Uh, except him, and nobody did anything about it, so demons apparently just come in and take random ghosts like that. I guess it implies that there's some like ghost police or something. She's my friend. Can you help me? So they, they there's no police or they can't call a demon hunter or anything to go rescue her. Apparently, go, demons just take people at random, out at random in this world, and they just go. You know, there's no. <laughs> I mean, how often does that happen? If that happens, hey, Ray, if they can take her, like they can probably just take other people. That is the field of thought forms. Those people who are you see, are thought forms. Thought forms, eh? You see, Joseph, in the physical world, when the humans think things in their minds, mm -hmm. they create a thought form, which appears in our spiritual world. Every invisible okay. human thought creates a visible thought form here. Some thoughts invisible. are positive. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pretty what he's saying. Sorry, I'm mumbling. Ah, again. Hate. Unhappiness. The lack of happiness. As you know already, there are ghosts. Evil spirits. Good spirits. I I'm being to wonder if those actually exist. Because I haven't seen any. Which can be used to fight demons with, while the demons feed on the negative thought forms of hate to make themselves Those are all little devil thingies. But how is it possible for a ghost to get hurt? We are not talking about physical hurt and pain. Okay, good. They finally explain this because this confused a lot of people earlier in, in the earlier episodes from the comments when I was young reading them. I got that impression. In a dream, like fear that could hurt. Usually, in that case, when a person has a bad dream, they can just wake up and return to a physical state of being. Why is Ray dressed up like a clown? <laughs> I've. And there is no escape. I mean, he was in the audience, so, in the circus, so I don't really see why. And in all subsequent episodes, he keeps that on, so. If you don't have to deal with your inner feelings, if you don't want to. But those poor steps who commit suicide, they will Also, he has purple. What a manly color, right? All their feelings, or their so-called demons. Being dead is like being stuck in a dream world. It's like an alternate world. Or other it is an alternate world, or a dimension. You have in the physical world. Well, you're not another dimension, but another world, world, at least. That's Maybe another dimension. Cities, cars, jobs, and of yeah, sorry. Fuck. Ah, no, hmm. quick. Ah. Okay, <laughs> what <you> <laughs> oh, what a <laughs> random string of words <laughs> there. Whoops. Uh. Might appear to be overwhelming and powerful. Don't ever forget that we have the advantage since we fight for the love, and love is <sighs> greater power than hate. Okay. Uh, is that it or up? Oh, we, we were done talking. Okay. And you can you can probably hear a little glitch there. He was Remember talking before. 
His dialogue came a bit earlier there for a second. Everything below the ground. Everything below the ground. A. Do you see that big hole over there? If we go down it, we can get into the underworld. Let's go. There's like no hesitance there of those two. Which way do we go? I don't know. Wow, they just jumped down. <laughs> that was a bit go? weird. I don't know, but let's split up and we'll find Shouldn't the right they give themselves a way to get back up if okay. they need to? Also, split up. Great idea in this dangerous drabble world. This is an interesting little uh, section here. You go through a tunnel, any tunnel here, and it'll lead you to a room with three more tunnels. Two of them are dead end. They just send you right back. But, um... Uh, one of them, like this, it'll send you right back there. One sends you to a room with three doors. And if you go into a door, there are, f with a few exceptions, if you go ahead and investigate anything, um, you can investigate each room, right? Um, and you just go back. Well, in this room, nothing happens. If you go through most of the rooms and you investigate, something like this happens. You, uh, get defeated. You die. You get put in, um... Some, they somehow emotionally, uh, abuse you. Um, one of the rooms here of interest, one of the last rooms of interest here... You could hear Tabitha saying that. You get a little map here. Kind of pointless, because it doesn't tell you which way the where the correct room is, all you get is, you know, which... You save yourself a little bit of time knowing which tunnel is the correct one. Uh, in these rooms. On the right side. I mean, the left side, the far left side, I mean. No, no, it's, it's the far right side. Um, on the far right side here... And yeah, just tell, once you enter the room, it tells you it's the correct tunnel, so. How do you hear Tabitha's voice from all the way over there? This must be the right tunnel. I've checked all the others already. Wait, how did you get past all those rooms, Ray? We couldn't do that. Is there something about you? Hold on, guys. You're not going anywhere. Oh, she has no pupils. That makes sense, because... I'm Joseph. Generally, bigger pupils... And these demons seem to have pupils. It actually kind of makes sense to me, because... The bigger your pupil is, it's kind of associated with being friendlier in our in, in a human's mind, so... Yeah, if you have photosensitive epilepsy, look away. Well, I'll place a warning in the description. See, there's some flashing lights. It's a bit slower in this here, because, you know, I'm, I'm not using a very good recording setup. Um, we basically get all this just gratuitous bad imagery. I don't know how necessary this is. Why did you... Okay, sorry. Why did you include that if you're gonna say sorry? I mean, I'm not necessarily, you know, um, appalled that they were there. I mean, it's kind of point... It was kind of pointless, but okay. But why would you apologize afterward? I mean, I don't need the apology. Do you? Whoa, what's happening with Ray? What's he doing? Uh, what's happening? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Why is his tongue moving? Why was his tongue moving in a weird way? Weird way like, like that. Eh. Weird way like that. <laughs> Wake up, Joseph. Sorry, I had to eat there for a second. <laughs> I just went through something awful. And there, I had to move for a second. Oh, that's what happens to us when we're defeated. We get put in an evil trance like that. Okay. Wow, for it must be hell for in the ghost world for people with photosensitive epilepsy then. Let's up and try hey, this place is full of demons. Why are none of them attacking us? You can talk to a bunch of them, and they won't attack you here. I guess some just don't are too lazy or don't care. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to them. You can mouse over them. You can click on some of them. Um, 
And they all insult the quality of this bar. So that's that's interesting. It's like, um, what's a? He doesn't even know he's here. That's nice. I don't know why part of his body was painted white or not painted. Hi, I'd like to get something to drink. You need? Where's the question mark? Oh, he gets like a a something full of ash. Like that's a nice what prank, bartender. It's a wow, that's that's surprisingly short ex ex uh, exposition. Thanks, thanks, demon guy. I don't know anything about that. Thanks, demon bartender guy. He's he's giving really short answers. This is refreshing. Well, you can check the back alley. Oh, that's actually a clue. Thanks for helping us, bartender demon. Demon bartender. Uh, is there any? Are there any more people here? And they seem to be giving us clues. All of them seem to know for some reason. They don't ever explain how they know any of this information or why they're telling us the information. Like there are little clues scattered throughout the place, but there's no reason for the clues to be there. Um. That that the one that you just saw was the first clue. The special cross is orange, like his hair. Maybe in that one he's just saying, you know, he's just like, hey, the special cross, it's the color of my hair. I have hair that is like the special cross. You're in the women's washroom here. Um, Bloody Mary. The thing is, I actually tried saying Bloody Mary three times in a mirror. Um, nothing happened to me. Note the color that flower power is written in. That someone wrote flower power in white. No, You might want to remember that. You might want to remember that. You have two random things here. These random symbols. Don't know what they mean. Maybe you do. Maybe you can tell me in the comments section. Uh, you can also click on... Some of those things actually do. I think one of those things actually does put out... It does actually have water in it instead of blood. The male washroom. And as tradition, as this usually happens, it's a generally dirtier. Men's washroom is dirtier than the women's washroom. Whoa! <laughs> That was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> and we have another totally pointless image here. It's not giving us any hints or anything. Don't remember that picture of a flower you saw. It's not going to come in handy later. Ever. Ever. I said ever twice. Ever twice. That should be the name of a city. Ever twice. Like a town in an RPG or something. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. I mean, I couldn't listen to the audio, but I found that audio funny. We have a restaurant up here, actually. I think it, I don't know if it told you it's a restaurant yet, but yes, this is a demon restaurant. Talk to the demon. I say yay. What are you doing here? You this restaurant is only for demons. Wow, he just totally ignored what he said there, Joseph. I don't have a table for you, but you can be our new special for the day. Saute ghost. <laughs> and we finally get a demon who actually attacks the protagonist. Unlike the other ones who don't. If you go to either of the sides here, you get to see this. This cage thingy. The gate at. Not get Fence! Ugh. Craw. Craw. Wow. Sorry, I touched the microphone there for a second. Excuse me, the mic, not the microphone, because I shouldn't specify. Now you can play a game of uh, sort of Care to try your luck at some pool? pool here. Okay. Sort of pool. If you can make three shots into the pocket, yes, he will tell you a secret. He's one of the nicer demons, I guess. The third from the on the right side, it's the third from the top that you're supposed to click. Okay. On the far right side there, you're supposed to click the third from the top. Okay. The second one, uh, on the far left, you click the third from the bottom. Let's see, like so. Oh, um. As I said, third from the bottom. Um, why did I keep missing? 
through from the bottom. I think I, I was choosing the second from the bottom. Not the third from the bottom. I was accidentally choosing the second from the bottom those two times. And, again, the second from the top on the left here this time. So, yeah, the second from the top to get this last one in. I can't believe you made those shots. You're not as bad as I thought you were. Uh, okay, here's the secret. The special cross type is the fancy cross. Okay. Whoa, fancy cross. What could that mean? So no dialogue here. Uh, you just press the space bar when it's appropriate. And he gives you this, a star. Um, if you click on one of the bookshelf in the top left, if you click on the bookshelf in the top left, you can see these various stars. Um, I guess the last one he showed us was Harry Star. Uh, various flowers. On the top, on the bottom right is, did we ever see that flower before? Did we? I don't know. Did we? Fancy cross is on the uh, bottom left here. So we know the color of the crop. We need an orange fancy cross, a hairy star of some color, and a white, um, one of the, I forget the name of the flower, but if you remember from the bathroom, there's a flower, and the word flower power was written in, right, written in white. I have no idea who is, like, leaving these clues for us. Maybe Tabitha? That'd be an interesting twist. Maybe her miracle worker powers did this. Here, you just, like, move all the stuff. And this can actually get a... Be a this section here can be a bit of a pain. I thought when, that there was more than one uh, symbol here. The word star is written in yellow, so take note of that as well. Uh, I thought that there was some other uh, dialogue written below this trash, so I kept moving it after this. So sorry. But yeah, this moving thing is kind of a pain because not only, because sometimes it kind of glitches out, it doesn't, and it doesn't, uh, it keeps following your cursor after you're done. See, like that, I think that this would happen right there. Once again, I'm moving around too much. Ugh. Take a nap. Take a nap what? Uh, you get to decide, the viewer. You, the viewer, get to decide. <laughs> huh, clearing my throat there. This whole demon bar thing. And then again, the bar only takes... The bar takes up the majority of the area of this episode. I will give you that. I guess it's not as bad as the title Ghost Motel. What's this door for? Ooh, a, we need a flower. We got the white flower there. Um, it was a yellow and hairy star. I uh, yellow hairy star, like that. And then an orange fancy cross. See, and it makes up those symbols. I don't know if that means anything. If if it does, you can tell me in the comment section. And Raymond just uh, coincidentally, right at the right moment, appears right beside us, our side. At our side, is what I'm trying to say. You get to just choose the door. All you need to do is just choose the middle on the left. Tabitha? Hey, Joseph. Can you get me out of here? Sure. Wait a second. I think I hear someone coming. Oh, no. What do we do? Who's there? This year is actually the first episode of this series I saw. I, I didn't look. I saw this one before I saw Ghost Motel oh, Part 1. I was talking to myself. What for? Come inside, and I'll show you. It was because of this author. It was the author of the Stickman Sam Flash games that got me to come look at this. Uh, he, I think he did some work on this episode, and it listed this as like in his, one of his things. Come on, hurry! And like part of his uh, Flash work, I guess. So, he's giving chase. I haven't been narrating the stuff, I guess. I mean, I know I haven't been narrating the stuff. Where are you, you little ghost? I know you're around here somewhere. And he just shouts, and he doesn't actually check in anything, because there's a lot of places for them to hide. 
See? So what do we do? Maybe there's a way out from here. Look, up there, there's a grating, which leads to the vent. We can try to climb through that and find a way out. Now, where'd Tabitha get her blue hair from while we're at it? I mean, while we're talking about Ghost Motel. Of course, I'm talking about Ghost Motel, but... I wonder where Tabitha got her blue hair. Like, she has blue hair for some reason. Wow, a bit of a panty. Uh, he's... Joseph was in a bit of a weird position, but I guess these ghosts aren't exactly... Uh, I guess I can't... In case there are any youngins watching, I suppose I can't go into detail. Um, Good. Youngings. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, it's just gonna bring you... You go up there, all you're gonna find is, like, more underworld. And there are actually some demon... I think there's, like, some demon in there. So everything below the ground is part of the underworld. Are, are people's basements in this world part of the demon? Like, if a ghost has a house and the house is a basement, are there demons down there? That would be kind of weird. Um... So the ghost used the sewers... Uh, that's part of the underworld, so... Like, why do the demons... Like, why do the ghosts have access to the sewers? Couldn't the demons, like, poison... Can they poison ghosts? Well, they could do stuff to the water, potentially. It just seems like a bad idea, and how did the ghosts build it without the demons harassing them? Ugh, it's kind of weird, is all I'm saying. My only guess is that the demons built it, and then the ghosts hijacked it, but then the demons also sometimes hang out in there. Wow, good thing they didn't fall back into that hole. That would have sucked for them, because they would have... wouldn't have been able to get back up. That was a pretty large fall. I'm not sure. He threw me in a bag, so I couldn't see. And then he delivered me to this demon prison place. I tried to escape before, but that guard was over Yeah, so demons can just go and take people at random in this- take Thanks ghosts at random in this world. Random. No problem. Random for- take people yeah. at random for you ransom. Demon girl who knocked me out? Yeah? How were you able to fight her and defeat exactly her? Exactly the question the viewer was asking. Well, I used to be a demon hunter a long time ago. Ooh, yeah. retired well, badass on our hands here. You need to have- um, you need to have experienced resident haunt and a guardian angel prior to being a demon hunter. That sounds like it would take a long time. I can't wait that long. Isn't there any other way, Ray? Well, there is another way that is faster. And what's that? You could go to a demon hunter academy. The DHA, of course. You'll be a certified demon hunter in no time. Wow, I want to do that. But you probably should go back later and get your work experience fulfilled, just for your own benefit. It'll help you to be a better demon hunter. Okay, I'll do that later, but I just want to get started now. Can you take- Now why does Ray have like a little- Okay. Uh, kind of figurine of his head in the, uh, mirror there? I mean- who, like, imagine if someone did that in real life. They just get a little figurine of my head from somewhere and put it on my car. On my car. As well as, like, on the antenna. There's antenna there. Also, it's swaying quite a bit. Uh, you might need to get that checked, Ray. Also, real men use pink cars. He's a demon hunter, so. Yeah? He doesn't scare off demons, of course. Duh. What do you mean? Somewhere. The Demon Hunter Academy is hidden. We wouldn't want some demons to find out where it is, so they can some way for it. uh rookie that ghosts to get inside. Find one of those shops. Which shop? Um, I don't know which one. I forgot. It's been so long ago. Hmm. Okay. You'll just have to look around and try to figure out which place it's in. Okay. This is something you ought to do on your own. Me and Talitha will meet up with you later. Good luck, Joseph. I'm sure you'll be fine as a demon hunter. Bye. Okay. okay bye. Yeah, this is probably what should have happened, like, the whole time. They should have had some... 
you know, like, instead of putting the people at risk, like, as a resident haunt and a guardian angel. Hi. Do you know where there's a if you ask any of the other places, you'll just get a no like that. But if you ask d d d about the Demon Hunter Academy... Hi, do you know where the Demon Hunter Academy is? Then she'll yield. I might know. This thing will is. yield. And this was the last place I checked, so... All these answers yield the same the response. From her. Not so loud. Don't have a whole room. Okay. First, I want you to complete a simple task. I need you to bring me back a cup of coffee. Here. Why is this necessary? And the stores exchange okay. coffee for that? Or that for coffee? But you can't go to the coffee shop and do it. No, you gotta go to the pet shop. And I accidentally um, I forgot. For actually, else? accidentally forgot which place no. I was supposed to go first. Yeah, if you try and actually go to that place to, ex to exchange it for coffee, big surprise, they won't let you. See, like right here. Hi, can I trade this sandwich for something else? No. I don't really see why this is necessary. Yeah, I'm just... Hi, can I trade this sandwich for something else? And why will he exchange it, but the others don't? Like, the other two don't, won't let you exchange it for anything, but he will? Hi, can I trade this goldfish for something else? I guess the clerk there just needed a fish. And whoa, he's wearing a dress. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of weird. And finally... Can I this donut for something else? At least, at least it sort of makes a bit more sense than the others, because coffee and donuts, you know, those two go together kind of well. If we go back in here... Okay, here's your cup of coffee. So wait, that door isn't locked or anything? If someone just randomly went in there, I mean, it could be possible for Dame to go into there. Yeah, you're supposed to go to the classes and do the test. I'll show you a couple of classes, but it, it, it'd be kind of weird to show you all of them. Just go to the episode and look it up. Look at it yourself if you kind of want to really know. Because I imagine most people probably won't be able to handle that. Or they could handle that, but... Some may show you violent, scary, or disgusting images in your mind. If you are not prepared, you may fall into an evil trance. Lose control of yourself. That's where the happy visuals come in. You must train yourself to remember a beautiful picture of happiness in your mind when confronted with unpleasant images. Now, here's a quick slideshow of a few happy images you might want to think about. Ooh, and feel free to come up with all of your own. Yes, just think positive thoughts is, I guess, all I needed to do. There are three types of beings inhabiting the spiritual world. Ghosts, Good spirits and bad spirits. Again, when do we see the good spirits? There are two types of worlds. The physical world... Oh, I think I left prematurely there. And there's that. One more. And I'll be quiet this time. Hello, class. And welcome to Demon Hunting 101. I know all of you are here because you want to know how to be good demon hunters. Of course, you have to have courage, strength, and love. There are many brave demon hunters out there, but the most powerful ones are the ones with the most love. Now, which is greater? Sorry, I was crossing the Or the actual there. person fighting with it? Just getting sling off it. It is the person who holds the weapon, and it is ultimately you who powers it. Not the weapon itself. Sorry, remember, something happened there. Be positive and fight with love. And we left. Hello. As some of you know already, demon hunters fight demons with weapons. 
You can fight a demon with any kind of weapon you like. It can be a sword, a gun, a bow and arrow, a spear, a knife, boxing gloves, and so on. The weapons you fight with are spiritual weapons, not like the physical weapons you may have used before as humans. These spiritual weapons are powered by the positive energies of love from the thought forms. Raw thought form crystals are converted into solid or liquid substances. It can be in the form of bullets, sword polish, arrowheads, and so on. Remember, you can use whichever weapon you like. It's just a matter of preference or whatever you're comfortable with. So yeah, uh, remember kids, a boxing glove is just as power as effective as a gun. <laughs> I love how they included that there. So yeah, you just basically go through all the classes, and this time I took the, uh, I cut to my successful attempt at the exam. All the questions, you have to get all six questions right. And what is it between ghosts and spirits, based on the ghosts and basics lecture? They once lived, ghosts once lived as humans, so, D. Well, there's one of the most, not one of the picture map visuals room, that would be the waterfall. That'd be the violin. Yeah, you're apparently supposed to see which one was not there. Which is the most powerful weapon? It's none of the above. A boxing glove is not as powerful as... Uh, apparently, happiness is not... Which of these qualities is not one of the basic traits. Um, apparently, demons kill humans in the physical world. That would be D. They kill them in the spiritual world. That is not one of the current events that they mentioned. And congratulations, you passed the exam. If you get one of them wrong, it says, WRONG! In red, it flashes, WRONG! You failed the exam. So, Bright red, red flashing now? letters. Just to calm you down. You know, soothing. This episode takes a bit of a different turn. You'll see. Hey, I'm here for the virtual reality training. I need to get certified. Hi, I'm Matt. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Here's how it works. You can pass the virtual reality game by beating all the levels. You can get certified. Okay. The game will give you some good practice fighting demons before you actually fight them for real. The more practice you have, the better fighter you will be. Just walk through the door over there to begin your virtual reality training. Okay. You'll have four levels to complete, and if you're really good, you'll get to the secret level five. Good luck. Yes, this game is a platformer. Unlike the other one, the point-and-click ones, this one's actually a platforming game. It's a, it's actually kind of a nice, cute little one. Um, you press control to swing the sword. You press shift to put up a shield. Uh, yeah, you have to click that. You have to. I sped the gameplay up slightly. Uh, you also have to get all five of those blue crystals. Um, uh, to get to get you know, um, what you call it. As the game can be kind of, it's it's okay, but uh, it can get kind of tedious. You also have to get all five. Uh, there are five blue crystals per stage. You have to get, um, except for one with six, and you have to get all. You have to get at least twenty to get unlock the fifth level. Um, I've spent the boss fights a lot because those can get really tedious. Like this one's the regular gameplay here is just sped up slightly, uh, a little bit, not slightly, um, uh, substantially, but only a little bit. The demon, the, the actual boss fights are going, those are sped up quite a lot, uh, because they're, they can get really tedious in this one, and the gameplay can be a bit, you know, in general tedious, but it, it's, it's a cute little platformer. Um, it's not, you know, the embodiment of evil, it's not horrible, I've seen worse, I've seen better. Again, the series is mainly a point and click one, we get the next level. Sorry about that, I kind of... Eh, this looks slow in comparison. Yeah. Yeah, some of them just, uh, don't move. You can, you can use a shield to protect from, to protect yourself from those projectiles. Those that, unlike the unlike level one, those enemies that just walk on the ground die in one hit, and the ones in level one don't die to my I don't think they do. I don't remember them dying in one hit. 
That's uh, make sure you pay attention to where I'm getting the crystals, because those are important. You know, you don't want to go through the whole game not getting those crystals, just because you know it's pretty simple to get those crystals. Uh, but it's also easy kind of to miss, and yeah, they're you know the consequences of not getting those crystals are pretty large. So, and we have the pre-boss fight room here. Ah, uh, that can have it missed. You know, so I missed. do I miss? Wario's actually saying so I missed, if you didn't know. That's like a German kind of oh crap phrase. If I'm told, if, I, if I'm, my sources are correct. I hope they are. Okay, and we have like a castle sort of area. Um, what with the... Uh, Um, there's a crystal up there, a blue one, blue specifically. Little thought forms, I guess. These are the thought forms from episode 5, if you haven't noticed. I'm assuming they are. They, they, I guess they serve the same function. Um, it's a bit weird to have the, like, kind of common item that you just get to replenish health. Usually it's like, you know, money, or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I guess I guess New Super Mario Brothers 2 really went overboard with that concept of Wow, I think I was just just uh jumping there just taking damage left and right and considering I'm playing on hard, you know, I can take quite a doesn't take that much to kill me. And again, the game is isn't terribly difficult at all. For the most part anyway. Level 5 is a little bit difficult. Um, but there's like a big, a big healing kind of crystal there. Uh, by the way, you press up to jump in this one, so. And to move, you just use the arrow keys. Um, this guy, you just stand down there and whack him with your sword. Wow, it glitched out there if you notice that it just left my strike there. Uh huh. That was kind of... Whoa, it, like, changed there for a second. I don't know what happened. This level can get kind of annoying, because as you... Uh, you do lose life when you get in lava, and because of the position of some of these platforms, you have to make your jumping pretty precise. Um, and also, real mature, those demons that are, you know... Demons on top there. I don't think I have to comment on those. Not amusing is kind of my word. Oh boy, I fell. Oh wait, wait, I think I was trying to fall to get that crystal down there. Was there a crystal? Was there like a blue crystal down there? I don't know. I mean, I, I know I'm calling them crystals and these are like thought forms, but you know, they, it, Ray never mentioned a blue thought form. He only mentioned these pink and black ones. The pink and black ones. Yeah, you have to sacrifice just to get one of those crystals. You don't actually, if you don't, if you can't sacrifice a life, there is an extra crystal at the end of the stage, so. Eh, sorry. Ugh, whoa. But you have to take some damage for one of the crystals. So either way, you're either going to have to take damage or die for one of them. Then again, there was an extra life there, so who knows, maybe, maybe it'd be better to just uh, kill yourself instead of just taking some damage. Some hammage. The crystals don't take a most of them don't take a lot of effort to get to. So that's a that's a plus, I guess. Even though you do have to get aside from one, you can only miss one crystal in the entire uh game. Uh some of them. But they're all fairly easy to get anyway, so I guess it's kinda counterbalanced. It just seems a bit weird for me that you have to get all of them. I would have had, I would like, I would have liked if you could have gotten like less, but they were harder to get to. And there's that's where the last crystal is in the boss fight. You have to avoid the fire. Um, these bosses are fairly self-explanatory how you beat them. You just whack them with your sword. Yeah, you whack with the sword. This one, again, they can get really tedious, though. You just mostly do, it's, uh, like, repetitive, I guess, to be a bit more specific. 
Oh, I think I died there. <laughs> wow. And we, we finished the first four levels, and I got the crystals, so level five. All right. Good job. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, right there for us. Oh, whoops. I passed. Wow. So now do I get my certificate? Whack the mic again. Sure. Just go back I'm having to such, again. I'm doing such good at not whacking my mic. Whack a mic. Okay. You, you know I was going to make oh, that. Here. Punt joke. This. The Jun, or the Poke. The poke. What no, I'm not calling it the poke. The jun, the joke, and the pun. Come back anytime if you need more practice. Jun. Thanks. Goodbye. I just remembered after wrap Christmas presents. Yeah, this is made being made not to. I'm not going on vacation for Christmas, uh, for any of like the holidays or anything. So I think that it'll be fine in terms of this uh, level can actually get a bit annoying because. Um, there are some platforms that you can fall through. And I do lose all my lives here, so... By the way, you lose all your lives, all your crystals are gone. Level 5 is still playable, but... Damn. Darn. Dag and nab. At least I don't have to get any more crystals. If I died on one of the four stages, I would have had to replay them all just to get the crystals. And as I said, the game can get quite repetitive, so... Like, even without having to replay, replay, replay them all, it, it gets pretty repetitive, so... That's why I'm a bit mad. A bit, you know, jolted, I guess you could say. And this level isn't... It doesn't really help that this level itself isn't actually terribly unique. Um, I have been screwed a couple of times by the level design in terms of, like... F like, in terms of the positioning of the uh, platforms... the. Uh, it can kind of be a bit conducive to you falling, and it has screwed me over a couple times. This level is pretty similar to level 4, um, just with a different background. A less, considerably less threatening, le a less evil background. Considerably less evil. But, and it's still kind of short, actually. I think it's, this is easier than level 4 in my... I think, I, I think this level is actually kind of easier. The boss is not. It's actually a bit harder, uh... By harder, I mean more tedious. More repetitive. Which is why I just speed it up even more. Oh, whoops. I knocked the mic over again. <laughs> again, just stay on the platform that I was mostly staying on, and you'll probably... I guess it's the quickest way to kill it. When you beat it, you get a little... Well, I'll show you what you get when you beat this bonus boss here. Thank God I had this sped up. I, if I had to show you the whole thing, I don't know how long this would be. You keep me here. It, it spits out bubbles sometimes, too, if you didn't notice. Like there. Uh, like it just did a little while ago. See? And now we get this little cutscene here. The speed's back to normal. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, my, my child. My baby. My virtual baby. Not my virtual baby. I don't know what I'm saying. The fish chases us, and all we see is that now it's dead. <laughs> also, apparently, the fish in the virtual reality thing gets put. That's also probably virtual reality. Here, Joseph, take this phone. If you ever need help about anything, then just call the Demon Hunter Association, the DHA. They may contact you through the phone or through the mail, so be sure to check your mail for any new missions. Thanks. We didn't see him hand it Joseph a phone, I just realized, but... Hey guys, I just finished my training at the Demon Hunter Academy, and got certified. Now I'm ready to go fight demons. Good job, Joseph. They don't send him any assignments or anything, he just goes wherever he wants to and fights demons. A exam I think I guess they give him letters or something. Training. I passed all four levels in my virtual reality training, and I even got to level five. Cool. Yeah, so canonically, I guess he did beat store? the fifth level. I need to get a weapon to fight as a demon hunter. Okay, let me think. I guess it's I canon now. Let's go. 
It's a cannon, you know, and cannons are meant for firing, so... This episode's a bit outlandish, actually. Uh, so if you go to the public storage area... Just watch. <clears throat> this gets kind of... <laughs> contrived is the word I'm looking for. I put your present in that locker with a combination lock on it. But I forgot what the combination was. Fortunately, okay, that's I wrote not some out to it. six separate sheets of paper which were hidden okay. throughout the town. Wow, she just hid a bunch of clues throughout the town. What if someone else finds the clues? In fact, it's probably someone else will find some clues, but they won't know it. They won't know what's happening, but yeah, okay. Uh, one of them has... One of, and the one of them right here. Second number is an even number. And by second number, it doesn't mean the second digit. It means the second number. Remember that. All right, there are three numbers that you have to enter. The second one is even. This clue, you just uh, order a pizza. You don't have to even spend any money, I've noticed. At least you don't see him spending money. Seventeen. I, I clicked on the little uh, paper there. So we have seventeen. Second number is an even number. You can go to the antique shop here, and one's pretty... Apparently, Tabitha just... Oh, by the way, how did... One of them's blank. Also, how did one of the clues just get on, uh... Pizza... Thing. thing. This place is kind of... Here's a, an outlandish one. Excuse me, can I see what's on that piece of paper? Yes, but only if you try my favorite ice cream. Why? <laughs> Okay. Why? Why no, not no, just not give it to us or it. say no? I don't know why. Why are why are your feet? Why do we need to like find your favorite ice cream? It's actually the peppermint thingy. Uh, peppermint, yeah. Right. You just my favorite ice cream. Yeah, you have to guess basically. First number is an odd number, or is it said first or third? I couldn't see. Well, both the first and third are odd numbers, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway. Four funerals on a wedding. Um, and here, the hills have demons uh, on the top right. 31. Here's a little extra place. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, I want to get a weapon. And what kind? Here's yeah, another kind of outlandish thing. thing. You have to guess which which one Joseph wants. And there's no indication. Oh yeah, in the bottom right there, there's a oh, paper. I don't really like this. There's no indication which one he wants. You have to click the sword. See, How the one with the golden the handle. And you just have to guess which one of these identical swords he wants. Oh, I mean, I I'm sorry, really but <laughs> that's just kind of... Oh. Hmm. I like What's so different about that one from the other ones? I'm sorry, okay. Joseph. It's go. not... <laughs> it's not that different. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm lost here. But at least you have a number. 28, I think hey, it was. Hey, Joseph, I have a present for you. Really? Yeah, it's in the locker at Melvin's Public Storage. Okay. Oh, he chose... Oh, we're supposed to come here first. Okay. <sighs> Whoops. 28. Uh, at least we got to see that again. Uh, I don't get you, game. I don't get you. This is a good game. This is a good series of games, don't get me wrong. I like this. I had this when I was... I played this a bit when I was young, though. Oh, get some but it, it gets a bit clothes. weird sometimes. It doesn't matter, really. And you just have to check which shirt you want. Well, you guys wear clothes. Maybe I should, too. Sure, go ahead. Hey, how come neither of you told me I was naked and should wear something? Because clothing is optional for goats. You don't have to wear clothes, and you're not really naked. I'm sure you've seen other ghosts that don't wear any clothes. 
But lots of ghosts wear clothes. Sorry, I'm like shaking around. A bit. Not intentionally, though. Anyways, I want to get some clothes now. Well, this one's pretty easy. You just click the one he was wearing in the virtual oh, reality. How does this look? And in the bottom right there, there's a paper. Second number is... Third number is less than the first number. You can choose other shirts, but it won't do anything else. Apparently, these are all Lee's clothes, by the way. So, Lee, these are... We're, we're all... We're, we're taking clothes from Lee. But now we have all the clues we need. We can go to the public storage area. When when my when I stop when my past self stops being hyperactive, and the first one is I accidentally make a mistake here. Spoiler: I make a mistake by accident. I choose seventeen. When I should. I chose seventeen. The second, the third number is less than the first one, so it's actually thirty-one because the first one's an odd number. Then twenty-eight. Second number is an even number. And then 17, because the third number is less than the first one, and it's an odd number. Well, I don't think I said it was an odd number, but that was where all the clues were. What all the clue, clue, clues were. So where next, Joseph? How about we go home? I think I'm getting tired. What do you mean you're tired? Yeah, all this series took, pl took place tired. over the course of one day. Then I'm mentally tired. I mean, for the viewer, it's all one, one chronological thing. For me, okay. it was a bunch of fragments, so... It does feel a bit weird, I guess. Not much to say here. Just them driving and whoa. Ray, you've been a bit drunk there, yeah. I think. I'm alright. What about no, I'm, I'm, well, Who knows, maybe he is, but he hasn't really shown it. Looks like I have a flat tire, which needs to be fixed. Look, there's a house over there. Maybe we can stop there and fix your car. Maybe we'll just look inside and see if there's something there that will help us fix the black tire. I'll help you look around. I'll check upstairs. Um, this part's not terribly difficult. Then. It's just there's not much purpose either. Okay, now it kind of makes sense to split up, but then again, there could be some dangerous thugs in this house. And in the bottom drawer there, we find tape. Um, I guess he just instinctually knows to go to the basement. And this one's just out in the open. Tire. But then I guess you have to select it among the other things. And then we have... that. All those three things are what you select. And he hasn't found anything. Nice job, Raymond. Everybody loves you. Including Tabitha. Including me. And Tabitha. Ooh, boy. Not your not supposed to look in that, Tabitha. Why are you about to do it? <laughs> Even, I guess out of cur morbid curiosity, but... And who would keep a mirror like that? <laughs> Okay, what purpose does it serve? The owner's a demon. Let's Probably. Go get Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Huh? Congratulations, we now have an evil twin on our hands. At Tibet. Tabitha backwards, if you're too. If, if you somehow didn't notice that, which seems a bit. I mean, I know who wouldn't notice that. What happened? Something strange happened. I was staring in this mirror, and then suddenly, my reflection came out of it. It looked just like me, except more evil. Like an evil twin. She said her name was Adabat. Then you blacked out. 
I'm just reading. I'm not actually listening to what they say. <laughs> oh, Matt. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Ha, didn't know. Oh, boy. It's probably a demon. She doesn't have a pupil. She's probably a demon, but I don't think she notices them. Big surprise. There's something dangerous in the house. But then again, you know, she isn't really that much of a threat. That twin stole my car, and she's gone. Now what? Captain Ob- good, nice job, Raymond. Or should I say Captain Obvious? Who apparently dresses like a clown. Which we still don't get an explanation for. I mean, he was in the audience and not in the show, but okay. <sighs> Tabitha, who dyed her hair blue. Let's try to find our way um, Um, if you just walk through the forest, if you go there, this happens. I have no idea why he's just standing there and just doesn't... Like, what was that? He... I think, like, a log just happened to fall. Uh, if you take this path, if you just keep on going to the right and then far up, you get a map. And thankfully, it, it shows us right where to go. Just go there. Go as far as you can to the left, and then up. And here, you just mash the space bar. Nothing special. Yep, just mashing space bar. Ing. Mashing in. Okay. Space bar. In. Oh, thanks for helping me, you two. That, that, you, you were nice just standing there. Not doing anything. Look, Ray. There's your car. Adabat must have come here, too. Let's try to find her. And here, we finally actually get back to the uh, motel where the series is named after. A punt. It looks like he... We have the fist kind of motion that he had from the first episode. A bro fist to the door, as I call it. There are so many I know, I, I've heard one guy call that the bro fist. We can't just when you, room. you know, people put their fists we need to together. Look for clues or maybe ask Apparently them Norton is uh, performing background tasks while my computer is idle. Very nice of it. You know, just giving your, you guys the update on my life. I don't meddle with demon-related matters. If you want, you can talk to some of the ghosts in the lobby. Yeah, actually I saw this demon girl run through the hallway really fast. Oh. Do you live in this motel? Then, first answer my questions and I will... Why tell do you, you need to know? Well, in. I guess he's trying to confirm it, but... Even if you lived in a motel, you wouldn't necessarily know how exact many people... Exactly how many people are in the ballroom. I had a bit of trouble exiting. I didn't notice the... Yeah. Actually, this, the, the sign at the, the bottom really uh, right of that text box that says back. Then, I was but trying to escape this thing in vain, but it didn't in. really work for me. I answered incorrectly. I assumed that would have gotten me out of it, but nope. And apparently, this guy will let me try again at infinite times. Yeah, actually I saw this demon go run through the hallway really fast. And I finally was able to get out of there. The guy was has been playing the piano all the time. Same guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Apparently the exact same number of... Uh, nine, ten, eleven. Apparently the same number of... There's always the same number of people dancing at all times in this ballroom. Ballroom or dance room or whatever. Uh, that if you click on that, it has an R engraved on the at the bottom, as you will see. Now, C R. I wonder if that information will come in handy later. Hintity, 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 hintity. Now 
now I just we're back in the lobby doing whatever. Whatever. Sorry, just watching. Ooh, that's reading some spaghetti, like the internet meme. Much like the internet meme, I mean, not just like it. A gold pocket watch. Will we need that later? No, you won't, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, you don't need that information later. <laughs> yeah, I know, isn't that refreshing? You don't need the information later for anything? We just are looking at some more paintings through here. Ooh, we're in a kitchen of some kind. Oh, no, wait, we should go back to the right. Now we're in the kitchen again. Uh, no crucial information here. Someone just has some random pink thought forms. Ooh, there's a key there. I remember that. <laughs> Holding my hand up like, like I'm only talking to you and I'm whispering. So apparently I'm hiding information from somebody. Uh, that pink bracelet there, may, might want to remember that information as well. I mean, I know it kind of flashed by quickly, but there was that pink necklace, I mean, not bracelet, necklace. necklace. Yeah, actually I saw this demon go run through the hallway. I don't know why I'm going through, like, the text again. Then, first answer my questions, and I will tell you what room she is in. Eleven. R. Uh, what food? That would be spaghetti. Was necklace a uh, pink, but I chose the wrong shade. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the first time I'm gonna do that. You know, I have to remember exactly what kind of pink it was. So it was and I chose the wrong shade again. I chose that hot, that kind of darker pink. Spaghetti, and that lighter shade of pink. Um, what one was not shown? That's a bit sadistic question. I mean, I have to memorize it each and every one, but that was the one I picked. Okay. The correct room is number 36. 36, okay. And again, I guess there's no police or anything to call that anyone could possibly call. It's just, you know, these ghosts. It's the only one. I wonder if Joseph's room is available here still. And apparently this is referred to as his home, so he's permanently staying at the motel. And considering that a lot of these rooms have... are a bit dubious... Oh, most rooms, uh, they actually lead you to death. I'm going to the balcony in case he tries to escape. And others. Okay, get it wrong. We'll be here waiting. There's some mysterious I demons and some mysterious things. Longer. I'm hungry. Calm down. I don't see Atabat anywhere. But the human smells so delicious. I can Sorry, I was moving around again. Sweet blood and juicy organs. Shut up, Zubabs. We're all hungry. <sighs> and here we get a game of Typing Tutor Turbo for the climax. Yeah, what a climax. You basically just type in happiness is bliss. You just write, or just remember, write down happiness is bliss. That's all I need. There's Adabat. And the human, oh, they're gonna eat. That's the human they're gonna eat. Ooh, this human we don't know. Sure, she's all blood stains on her thing. No. Oh wow, that actually looked kind of um weird. And wow, uh, that was a bit. He didn't. Are they dead? That. Why do demons have blood? Them? They're spirits. Yeah, <laughs> they have blood. <coughs> Sorry, I cough. We need to get rid of the body. Hi, we just hunted some demons. I need to get rid of their bodies. My friend doesn't have enough room in his car. Okay, thanks. And immediately, well, it's probably just, there's probably some time oh, skip okay. there. It just I looks immediate to the viewer. Yeah, over here. And okay. this Max guy looks kind of, uh, muscular. I don't know, this is more so than over the here. others. Let's go get rid of these bodies. And apparently Joseph and Ray have to sit in the trunk with the, de with the dead demons. Not the dead, the 
Well, we'll see if they're dead in a second. Remember that the thing for the demon hunter, the job sure. sign said that they're being going to be thrown back into the pits of hell where they came from. It's where we dump that this is the pit of hell, apparently. Someday they'll awaken, but for now, I'm just toss them down there to be out of our way. I smell something strange down there. Not to mention the eerie sound. It's hell. What do you think? Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just named after hell. Oh my goodness! Wait, just demons can just come right up there and do that. Well, congrats. Thanks for... Uh, this was me. I was, I was back for a while. It was kind of fun, but goodbye.